And so welcome everyone. We have today myself, Alicia Berglund, and uh, Lindsay Walsh. And today's webinar is about customer source. And so um, at the end of the presentation, we will be taking questions. So make sure you make note of those questions. Or if you'd like to just send a chat message with your question, that works as well. So we'll just get started now. So hi, this is Lindsay Walsh with Tidestone Solutions. Welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us on another of our monthly webinars. If you're not familiar with who we are, I'd like to introduce our company before we get started with the content. We have, uh, we're a Dynamics GP business partner with Microsoft, and we've been helping our customers with their business process and their ERP systems for over 20 years. We help them with productivity tools, business solutions, and by focusing on their needs, business process, and operations needs, we're able to help them achieve their next milestone in their organization. We have long-term relationships with our customers. We're more than just a software vendor. We like to think of ourselves as a business partner with our customers. We are located in Portland, Maine. Most of our customers are in New England, but we do have customers nationwide, and we have a whole team of business process experts here. We're, again, we're not just a software vendor. We really help you to use the software to improve your business partner uh, relationships and improve how the software helps you to achieve success. We help you with software selection, data conversion. We can integrate applications into GP to streamline processes. We do training for new customers, retraining for new hires. We're able to help with custom reporting so that the management team has the information that they need to make decisions right at their fingertips. And we've got a really great team of development experts who can customize software and develop processes that are unique to your needs to help Again, streamline, build efficiencies, and refine your business process. And with that, I'd like to have Alicia take over and give you the tour of Customer Source, which is a, a great tool to, for you and your organization to get access to information from Microsoft about how to use the software. All right, great. Thanks, Lindsay. So um, uh, the first thing we have here is our agenda, just to let you know what we're going to cover today. The uh, customer source overview is going to include a demo of customer source. So I have a test login or a kind of like a, a sample login to a company that doesn't really exist. So you'll see my name in a company that is not Tidestone just for demo purposes. We're going to review completing some administrative tasks within customer source walk through how to find knowledge base articles. Maybe you have a question about a process or you're getting an error. You can start to go into customer source and do some of the research and potentially become a little more independent, making you a little more successful in GP. And over time, that's a great investment because you've made an investment in the software. And so when you use customer source, you get a little more familiarity with the software and you're generally happier. We'll also show you how to access technical documentation, user manuals, how to use the e-learning, and then we'll have a Q&A session. So the big question for some of you may be, what is customer source? Customer source is a one-stop resource that you can quickly and easily access information to maximize the benefits of your Dynamics GP solution. Uh, as part of the many benefits in your enhancement plan, which you pay annually, Customer Source is what Microsoft tells us award-winning site that provides access to timely and relevant information on your GP, your Dynamics GP implementation, and related products and services. So Customer Source can help you boost productivity and reduce support costs by providing you with this unlimited access to online training, certification information, 
technical support via knowledge base, uh, news groups, downloads, event details, and, and lots of other things. So Customer Source is a password protected website and it's available to customers who are current in their enhancement plan. Now I know for the customers uh, on the phone, you're all um, on your, uh, you're all current on your enhancement plan, so that's great. So at the end of this slideshow, you'll see how you can get set up as a user in Customer Source if you're not already set up. So some of the features are, you know, unlimited access to the online training, and we'll take a look at that downloadable training materials, and so if you're enrolled in the enhancement plan, you do get access to customer source. And so here it's just showing you, you if your business ready enhancement plan is current, uh, you can access this customer source site. So many people uh, say the value of the enhancement plan is really about the service packs, the hot fixes, and the releases and version upgrades, and all of those are great, but there's more of a benefit. It's really Microsoft's promise that they're going to stick with you and this product, that it's a, an agreement between you and Microsoft with that enhancement plan. And your partner may be a part of that renewal process, but it's really an agreement between you and Microsoft, so it's, it's a little more confidence in the product. Research shows that customers who are on a service plan for Dynamics are more satisfied than customers who are not on a plan. Service plans provide additional confidence that you'll receive service and support. So it's really an, an integral part of your investment. It doesn't want to move ahead. There we go. So I think we're all um, in the U U.S. But Customer Source is available in 23 different languages, and I thought that was just kind of an interesting tidbit that I would share with you. Here are some of the uh, languages that Customer Source is available in. Okay, so Knowledge Base, when we get into Customer Source, this is a screenshot of what you would see when you log into Customer Source. And if you look here, at this navigation pane, you'll see an option there is support. And one of those items is knowledge base. And knowledge base contains thousands of technical tips, solutions to common problems, uh, errors, answers to frequently asked questions. It's the database of the original support content of the Microsoft support professionals. So when they are able to identify a question or an error, they create these knowledge base articles and they publish them out to the customers so that you can benefit from that research that was done and you easily get that information. So there's troubleshooting for frequent issues, there's how-to descriptions that you can look up, and this content is only available to customers on Customer Source. There's a lot of different training options through Customer Source. There are instructor-led training courses you can register for. There's e-learning, which is completely free to you through your enhancement plan. And I'm, I'm sorry if that noise from outside is coming through on the webinar. They are digging up the streets to put new uh, natural gas pipelines in. So hopefully that's not interfering with the sound. Please send a, mess a chat message if it is. There are training materials available that you can download. And maybe within your organization you have uh, certification requirements that you need people certified and you want to track that through uh, the Microsoft site. You can create learning plans that determine what that individual needs to take in order to uh, perform in the capacity that is required. Some people prefer to learn in a classroom setting, so you have that option. Some would rather uh, do an online training, so there's all sorts of different options there. You may have noticed in your software the Microsoft Dynamics Connect. It's a link to Microsoft Dynamics and the Customer Source site. 
So it refreshes on your home page, and you can see a little sample of it here on the slide. And many of these are links. Some of the links require a customer source login, and some don't. Some are just a blog that is fed into this con connect area. But if you have the customer source login, you're going to have access to much more of those uh, links. All right, so without any further ado, we will go in and do a little demo of customer source. And so here you can see I am logged into customer source. I did this ahead of time. And this may look familiar based on the slides we just viewed. And so I just want to walk through a few of the options that we've already talked about. The first thing is administration. In customer source, depending on how your user is set up, and my user doesn't have a lot of permissions, which is probably going to be uh, more of the end users, maybe your accounts payable clerk, uh, accounts receivable clerk, not someone who would have access to, say, everything in the system. So if I look at my profile in customer source, and it's just taking a second here. And it, it, it timed out on me, so let me just get logged back in. You do have to have a Windows Live ID to log into Customer Source. And so I'm going to go into my Graphic Design Institute. Okay, here we are back again. So if I look at my account and my profile, this is everything about me in this company. So I can go in and edit the information, but here are some of the emailing preferences. If you want to get information from Microsoft, they will send you a lot of information you'll get several emails and whatnot from them if you allow it. So when you set up the user, you can see I'm not an administrator, so I don't have access to many things in the setup. So if I go to edit, I can edit my name, phone number, and all of that. This is where I mark off what my role is. And this is the area I was just pointing out, the email preferences. If you want to receive information from Microsoft Dynamics, you would click yes, and if not, just no. So I'm not going to make any chances to my profile. I can also look at the company's profile, and this will show me how we are registered with Microsoft. Now I know that there are companies who have had name changes that haven't actually processed that through Microsoft. And you wouldn't do that in this area. You would actually create a, uh, fill out a form that your partner would provide to submit to Microsoft. But you could change different information in here if your mailing address should change or something like that. But it just shows you what you have on record with Microsoft. Another area that is helpful, it tells you what products you are registered for. And it tells you what enhancement plan. So here I know that I have access to the registered module list. So I could click on that and find out what I have. I could get registration keys. And down here it tells me I have Business Ready Enhancement Plan, the Business Ready Advantage Plus Plan. And I could click on this link to find out the details of that plan. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to remember with all the different products you have in your corporation. You could just easily come in here and look at what those benefits are. Okay, let's just look at some of the other items here. You have news and events. So one of the things that is a big event with Microsoft is Convergence, which is a customer conference. You could come in here, and if you attended, great, but if not, you can come in and you can look at some of the, uh, the content that was covered during the conference. So there's a link to the website here, and there's a lot of good information that you missed out on when you weren't able to attend, but you can sit at your desk and, and gather a lot of that information staying right in uh, your office. There's also a news page where you can find out what's going on. 
Maybe you want to see what's going on with Dynamics GP uh, for version 2013, and you could just change the display on that, and it will give you information based on what's going on with Microsoft Dynamics GP for version 2013. There's also this Insights uh, newsletter that you can subscribe to. And so from here, you could click here and see what is available to you and sign up for that newsletter. And it's kind of a nice way to keep up to date with what's going on with Microsoft Dynamics GP. Okay. The next area I'd like to show you is the training and certification area. Let's just take a peek at e-learning. E-learning is available to anyone who is a, a customer source user. And so I'm looking at my learning. These are all of the classes that I have added to my list of, of online tutorials or training classes that I want to view. Now this is the catalog, e-learning catalog, which shows you everything that is available. So let's say that I want to look at Microsoft Dynamics GP and financial management. I can then click on search and it will filter this list. I'm sorry, I don't need to click on the search for, for filters. I could put something in here and click on search. But now it's just showing me everything that pertains to financial management. I could also look at GP 2010 for more of the IT type areas. Whoops, I just selected the wrong one, but it's okay, it's the same item. So if I look at customization, I can see what is down here that maybe my IT department wants to take a look at. It's a, it's a nice introductory to areas that maybe you're not familiar with. And it's also a nice area that if you're using the product and you want to learn more about what you've been doing, what you'd like to do, it's, it's a nice step-by-step -step through that process. So once you start using the catalog, you go into the catalog, you mark off which, what, which classes or trainings you want to add to your learning list. You click Add to My Learning. And then when you go to your My Learning, you'll see those have been added to your list of items that you want to watch. Once you've completed these, they will add them to your learning transcript so that you can go through and you can let your supervisor know or you can just keep track of who has taken trainings in, in different areas. Maybe there's an area that you uh, need to get training on. So it gives you a transcript here of everything that you've taken through the e-learning. Okay, let me go back here. I want to show you as well that there's classroom training available as well. And so it's in the instructor-led training. So if I go over here and I click on this more information, I can do a search on what I'd like to, to have classroom training on. So here I'm going, to I'm going to select what I'm looking for. Actually, that's the learning plan. I clicked on the wrong link. I want to click here. So here, let's say I want to see what's out there for Dynamics GP 2013. We're thinking of upgrading. I want to have a sneak, sneak peek. Here are some uh, one-day, two-day classes that you could register for. So you can see there's receivables, general ledger, installation, payables. So that's all available to you to register for. And they are held in different places across the country. So um, just keep in mind when you start to register where the location of the training is. Okay, the next section I'd like to show you is the support area. And this is where I think you'll find a lot of value. In the self-support what I've mentioned before is knowledge base. This is available to all of you who are on a current enhancement plan, whereas you can search for anything that you have questions on, any errors you might be receiving. Um, I'm just going to put in here batch 
held in posting. This is something that happens quite often. If you have an IT professional, they could look in here. And here are all of the, the KB articles based on that error. Maybe it is um, something about, it's not responding right now, hold on one second. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I think we're having some network difficulties as we go through this. So this customer source knowledge base, maybe you have something, a question about payables, checks. You can see what's out there for KB articles. And there's everything here. And if you open up one, defaulting the print checks option, and it will walk you through what the solution is. Now this, I've actually selected a bad one because this is an outdated one. So make sure that when you look at a KB article that it applies to the version you're currently on. They typically have a good cleanup of these old articles, but every once in a while uh, you find an old one. So here's a good one here. Maybe a troubleshooting of what's going on. So lots of different things in there in the knowledge base. If we go back to support, there's also some hot topics and hot fixes. You can see what's going on with the products. See what's, what other companies have been experiencing. If an issue is uh, happening in many places, but it's not a big enough issue to release a service pack, Microsoft will leave release a hot fix that typically uh, is, a, is an easier fix to your system than a service pack because we know service packs now typically are more in line with upgrading your software. Okay, so it looks like we have a question out here. Let me take a look. Okay, so how do I access online learning for e-learning? Um, you do need to be in customer source and from the home page it is under the training and certification and it's under e-learning okay so from e-learning here you would go into the e-learning catalog and search for what you need to find and then click on Add to My Learning. Once you've added it to your learning, you would go to My Learning and click on the link. And it's a downloadable course that you can uh, stop and start anytime you want to view it. Okay. I'm just going to go back to support for a minute here. There's also assisted support. So if you need further support than the knowledge base, you do have an opportunity with your enhancement plans um, and you'd want to check your enhancement plans. Some enhancement plans include six incidents per year. Some do not include any. So you want to ensure that you have incidents available, but you can open an incident right directly with Microsoft. Now I will tell you that response time can be quite a while. It can be up to four hours. So if, it's, if you want to take advantage of those six incidents, try not to make it an emergency um, because it can take a while to hear back from Microsoft. However, uh, Tidestone uses this support as well. When we are in a data corruption situation, we will employ Microsoft and we will open an incident with them. So these are very beneficial to you to use if you have those. So um, Looks like we have another message here. There should be some e-learning for HR and payroll. You just may need to look at a different version, and that has been one of the challenges with the e-learning. So if we look in the e-learning catalog, and we go back here under product, and I think that it's really outdated, GP10. 
And if we look at Well, actually, Juanita, I'm not sure there's much in there. I know I did find something. Let's see. Dynamics. You do need to type it correctly. Dynamics, GP, HR. Let's see if we find anything. Okay, so here's something, uh, performance, performance server, forecaster, so we'd need to limit it to GP. I'm not finding it that way. I'm not sure how it was listed in there, but that's, that's what you'd need to do is go through and find out what is available. It doesn't look like there's anything there for GP. You could keep looking. Uh, I'm not seeing anything immediately. I thought there was something in there, but it was outdated. It could just be that it's uh, so old that they're not, uh, it's not available on here anymore. Oh, new search. So you have all of these different items. And I don't see HR listed as a separate product by any means. So I think at a quick glance, I don't see anything, Juanita, on that. And the last item in, in community, in customer source, is communities. There are communities that you can get involved with through customer source. And so these are different businesses that use Dynamics GP that you can use as a resource. Maybe, you know, you're asking, what, do you, what are your best practices in using, well, let's say, uh, Lockbox? What are your best practices? What have you found helpful with GP Lockbox? What haven't you liked? It's kind of a nice resource. And there are actually Microsoft experts. These are some of the top people that are GP technical and application experts. So that's a really good resource for you. Okay, so I think at this point I'm going to open it up to questions. I will unmute everyone. And let's see. All right, does anyone have a question that hasn't, or that maybe I didn't answer it completely from the chat, or? I need some more clarification on how to get to customer source. How to get to what? To customer source. You do it right, right, right plane? Well, we do have a slide at the end on how you can get set up with customer source. Um, okay. Let's actually go to that slide. So here, and I will send this slide deck to everyone that's on the call. So you'll have these links. And there's an online tour. So I'll send that to everyone, Stacy. So this should help you get access. And if you have any trouble, we your, your GP partner can also log in and grant you access, and it'll send you a link to, to just kind of make the process really easy. Any other questions? Yeah. 